Okay, I'm here at Brilliant Bloom. This one's in a much nicer part of the neighborhood. This is the, 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 the DR Horton section of the neighborhood. The other was in the Express, which is more two stories and just more square footage for, and very little, you know, upgrades. This one, you can tell they've got stone on the outside, three car garage, um, very nicely landscaped. Nice tall covered front porch. Come in, now imagine, this is basically the same square footage as the last one, but all on one level. So it's gonna feel a lot bigger. Come in, you've got full bath, and bedroom up front. You know, and again, things you're gonna see in the DR Horton versus the Express is less bifold doors, more regular swing doors on your closets. Nice, big, open family room. It's my wife running out of the picture. So you've got a, a, a den here, it's den study with double doors. Nice big kitchen island. Corner pantry. Big eating area off the back of the kitchen here as well. So you got a nice size covered lanai, and I'll hit the backyard in a little bit. Master bedroom. So you kind of got this little foyer area that you walk into in the master before you get into the bedroom. There's one closet here. Another closet here, big closet. There's a door from the master out to the patio. Large master bedroom, tray ceiling. And then nice big bath. So you got separate tub and shower. A big double vanity and your water closet. Another bedroom, this is almost like a, like a guest suite. Walk-in closet. Again, another good size room. And it's got an ensuite bath. With a stand-up shower. Then off the floor, you've got nice big laundry. There's even another storage closet back there off the back. With shelving. Washer dryer. And then three car garage. There's your hurricane shutters for the windows. You do have attic access up there, so you could utilize some of that for storage. And it looks like they've got extra tile and some paint and stuff like that there as well. So I do see one cracked tile here as you go into the laundry room. Just looks like a, you know, there was a stress point there, that tile cracked. But the good news is, is you've got extras, so that could be replaced. So you got a nice private conservation area behind. Definitely room for a pool. You can see the neighbors have a pool back there. And that house sits about the same distance. Actually, it sits back a little further because it's all, all the way across. You've got a little bit more of a recessed area there. There are a few stucco cracks, but that's normal. They just need to be caulked and painted. Um, you know, that's normal routine maintenance. Here's your covered area. And then again, get out back. You do have some, some stucco work that needs to be patched at the bottom of the foundation, which is pretty common. 
they just don't have enough slope away from the house there so that just needs to be built up a little bit patched and make sure that these sprinklers aren't directed right back at the foundation that's usually what causes that problem is you got water spraying on the bottom there all right so this is looking down that brilliant bloom which is nice because it's a short little cul-de-sac so a lot less traffic on that street as well but like you said you can see how close you are to the pool area um, you've got it nice big pond with fountains in it up here at the beginning of the community 